Welcome back. I get asked all the time when people start having permission errors and effective permission errors. How do we fix it? What do we do? And a couple of things to think about is users themselves have security enabled against their account uh, based on two key things. Okay, One of them is a group membership and the second is a, a user permission set. So effectively a group includes multiple permission sets. So if you make a user a part of a D365 Backup Restore, inside of Backup Restore is a permission set which determines what you can do under these permissions. And so with Backup Restore, you have the access to these separate permission sets. And then ad additional to that, you can then set what goes on. So let's let's roll this back a little bit and say, well, what if I wanted to have my own permission set? So let's forget about the user group, for example. We go to permission set. Okay. And I'm going to create a permission set. And this is a whole heap out of the box. We're going to create this one and call it known BC. BC sales order. Okay, so it's it's brand new. There's nothing in it. And I'm going to hit permissions. Absolutely nothing in it. It's going to be blank. Okay. What we want to do is we want to pop this out into a new page of Windows. So let's go do that. Click. And this is going to give us a capability to control what's going on. I'm going to close permission sets behind the scenes. I'm going to go back to my main screen. I'm going to hit Actions within the pop-out browser. Record permissions. Start. Do you want to start recording now? Yes. I can go do a set of procedures. Me being a super, I should have access to it. I can create, I can select a customer, and I can add an item. And I'm just going to go back now. So you may want to go all the way through release, warehousing, whatever. Whatever you click on while we're doing this is being recorded, and everything that's required to facilitate the function gets stored. So let's now turn this off. And there you have it. We now have a custom permission set that will do everything that I needed to do, right? I need my user to do. I've just demonstrated through going through and doing. I recorded a permission set. So now I have that permission set. I can close it. I can go back to user groups. We can create a user group, and let's just call this uh, Learn BC Sales Team. Okay. Now, as part of this permissions in this, I'm going to include our Learn BC right up the top. So, Learn. So, we're going to include that one, and I'm going to include uh, 365. We're going to use our ready inventory. Let's add that one. And we might include some other things that are important, like uh, D365 uh, item view. I need that. And there's, then, you know, you can, you can build this out, etc. So we've got our permissions user group called WinBC Sales Team. I can now go to the user and I can now apply my own user to my user, a user group that includes permission sets, including custom permission sets. And effectively, I've dealt with my issue of getting errors and permissions, effective permissions and all of that. And again, make sure you apply that to the relevant company or delete the company, which means this permission set now applies to all the companies. All right, so basically what we've tried to describe here is like, Permission set errors can be a real pain in the backside. If you're trying to figure them out one at a time, if you didn't build it, it may be near and impossible. So why not go and record your permission set, okay, from scratch using um, your own login as a super.
facilitate the workflow of your users, everything that they need to be able to do, and you'll build really quickly custom permission sets that are only going to give the users access to what they need within your business. All right, thank you.